Hello, boys and girls. My name is... Yes, it's me, Sticky, and welcome to I Am a Work of Art. This is the show where we meet boys and girls who show perseverance, passion, and creativity in different art forms. Let's meet today's artist. My name's Dora Luby, and I'm a magician. Wow, that's impressive. Don't you agree, boys and girls? I wonder what inspired him to become a magician. Um, my dad was t- showing uh, some tricks at my party, and then when I was at home, I asked him how do you do it, and then he said, I'm not going to tell you how you do it, I'll teach you more tricks. And then, yeah, I went on with that. That sounds like a really cool dad. Let's go meet him. Um, my name is Stanley Luby. I'm Deron's father, and I'm his mentor, his coach, and all his activities in magic and whatever he's doing at the moment. Watch what I'm going to show you. Are you ready? Yes. This is the one we got from Barnard. We're going to teach you. Okay. Watch. I've been a magician for over 30 years and I encouraged him to carry on and take over what I didn't finish up doing well because I didn't keep up the hobby. I have a very big collection of over 500 tricks and I want him to take over and do what I've left off. First trick I basically taught to run was the one with the dices where you, he shows you a dice in the box and then they explode into small little pieces that he picked up very quickly. I can show him any trick and he can do it for me straight away. He's very, he's born kind of talented and he picks things up very quickly. It seems like Doran and his dad have a very good relationship. Now let's go meet the rest of his family. But before we meet them, I'd like to show you my own special magic trick. Watch this. Was that awesome or what? Okay, let's go meet the rest of his family. Ronnie! Come! Are you getting dressed? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Let me come back now to look for you. Come, I'm going to get going, Ronnie. You want some cereals, boy? Mm-hmm. Huh? Mm-hmm. My name is Tracy Luby, and I'm the mother of Doron Luby. What time are you going to be home today? Oh, are you eating now? Put that down. Are we going to Melissa? No, not tonight. On Maybe. The, no, you can't have a late night. It's not school tomorrow. From a very early age, from about five years old, his father was teaching him magic and he's uh, seen magic videos. And he always took note of the video. And then when he, once he'd watched the video, he would go and try that trick. So he was very, very talented from the age of five with his magic. Well, Adam's coming to visit today. Mm. I've made arrangements for Adam to come visit. Uh, my friend's name is Adam, my best friend. And um, me, we like playing with the robots, we like playing drums, and sometimes I teach him some tricks. What time is Adam coming? Just now. He's coming just now. He's coming early, so we must play nicely together, eh? Mm. Okay, don't fight. Play nicely. 
Well, boys and girls, it's time for us to take a quick break. And when we come back, we'll meet Doran's friend, Adam. But before we go there, let me tell you about South Africa's most famous magician, Elan Smith. Elan Smith has wowed crowds in the United States, England, Israel, and South Africa. He is a member of the International Brotherhood of Magicians and South African Inner Circle of Magic. He recently returned from the World Championships of Magic held in Sweden, held by the International Federation of Magic Society. Elan specializes in jaw-dropping illusion of the mind. His unique combination of enchantment and humor makes his every performance a masterpiece at any event. Now let's take a quick break. Don't go too far now. Welcome back to I Am A Work of Art. Today's work of art is Doran Luby, who is a magician, and as promised, we are about to meet his friend Adam. My surname is Kubovit. My name is, my name is Adam. He and I are our best friends. We, when me and him were babies, our moms were good, good friends, and then they took a drive one day, and then the, but me and Daron wasn't born yet. That's how we met. playing cricket, we like playing and and we also like eating together. Adam, I've got this cool song I want to show you. Want it? Yeah. Let's do it. Not only is Doran a magician, he also plays the drums. What else do you do, Doran? Mm, I like play, doing karate, playing drums, and doing hip-hop dancing. Magic, drums, karate, and hip-hop dancing? Oh, wow, that's what we call multi-talented. You go, boy. And come try it out. Yeah. Go. I think he's a good person. He would let me and so my one friend also watch us learn these magic tricks. And I think he's very kind to us. And if he and if and if we feel sad or anything, he will come and help us. Aww, that sounds like a very, very good friend. Now let's go watch him perform his magic tricks. So, Adam, you can go see my amazing tricks. Sure. Um, to see him. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes I uh, teach him like basic tricks, not good tricks that other people do, like card tricks, and yeah. I have a pack of cards, right? So, let's take this out. See, there's nothing in there. Right. I want you to pick a card. Doesn't matter, anyone, it's one. You want that? Okay. Look at it. I think I'm going to put it over here, just like that, right. I'm going to put it in here. Right. Now, I want you to think of your card. Feel spades, is that it? Is that yep. your card? Feel spades. Yo, that's impressive. Now let's see another one. Okay, see Adam, I've got a big card, a pack of cards, right. So, now what? I'm gonna put my card in like that, right? I'm gonna put it like that. Come on, 
comes out. Money. Yeah, money comes out. So it's that like kind of. Yeah, cool, right? Yeah. The best thing I like about his magic that people see my talent in it. I feel good. I've got like a wall and a floor. Yes. Put that there. Do that. See? And see? Right. It's glass. Or it's plastic. Right. You see there's nothing behind, right? Nothing behind. Right. Okay. Now watch. Like this. Yeah, but no. the Statue of Liberty, right? Yeah. So how did you make it come through? Like, oh, um, that's magic. And they all asked me how did I do it, but then I never told them. <laughs> that's right. A good magician never reveals his tricks. Okay, now Adam, I'm building up to my very amazing, amazing trick. This is my second last one, and I'll do the amazing trick for you. Okay, I've never shown that amazing trick to anyone. you the first one. Okay, right? See? See? Right. Gonna put the dust, right? It's from one to six, the dust. Right. Now watch. You're watching. Look. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now the big one turn and do little big yeah. little stars, right? Cool. Well, I want to show people my magic because um, I want other kids to do like what I do to also help them in their life. And this is the hot chick I was born up to. Remember, I said this is amazing, amazing, amazing. Prepare to be amazed. Hold on to your socks. Oldies, moldies, macaronis. Whoa. And there's money inside. Yeah. How come it doesn't burn the money? Oh, I don't know. It's made out of... You know when you burn money, it goes up black and it yeah. like breaks up? Yeah. But this one doesn't. Because it's like, it's like, it's like special money. Yeah. Well, I think it's more like magic. Doran clearly has some impressive tricks like his idol Stan Sussman. Stan Sussman is a South African magician, passionate and talented. This celebrity entertainer is South Africa's most successful and sought-after corporate magic and illusion star, frequently described by amazed audiences as the very best magicians they have ever seen. He is widely regarded as one of the world's corporate illusionists. Stan has been invited to perform his entertaining tricks for hundreds of business leaders from South Africa, America, Europe, and the Far East. I'm interested in seeing what he's got in store for us. Let's go meet him. Hi, Daron. I'm Stan. Nice to meet you. Come and sit down. So, I believe you're a very good magician. Yeah. That's great. And do you enjoy doing magic? Yeah. Wonderful. How long have you been doing magic for? Um, since I was one. Since you were one? Yeah. That's a very young age to start. And how old are you now? I'm nine. Nine? Yeah. So you've, you've been doing magic for eight years? Yeah. That's nearly as long as I've been doing magic for. <laughs> I started magic at the age of five. I went to a kid's party and the magician made some sweets appear. I got some of the suckers that he produced. I put the suckers under my pillow for weeks because I believed they were magic suckers. And that's what started the bug. And I believe you were recently very successful in winning a talent contest. Yeah. What happened? Um, I just did that in a few magic tricks and then I won it. Did you hear that boys and girls? Not only is Doran multi-talented, he's also an award winner. He is clearly a work of art. Well, boys and girls, it's time for us to take another quick break. And when we return, we'll learn a few tricks from Stan the Magician. Welcome back, boys and girls. Before the break, Doran was introduced to his mentor, Stan, 
And now they are about to exchange some magical ideas. What is your favorite magic trick? The um, Statue of Liberty. The Statue of Liberty? Yeah. Can you make the Statue of Liberty appear or disappear? Uh, appear. That sounds like a very exciting magic trick. Can you show it to me? Yeah. I'd love to see it. Yeah. There are things I like about choosing my career. One is that I'm having fun with people that want to have fun. This is going to be very exciting. Okay, you see? So what is that, an, an empty box? It's an empty box. Okay, nothing there. Nothing there. See, cats, cross. There's nothing behind you. Yes. Wow, that was very, very well done. Really well done. I think technically you were very, very good. Thank you. And one of the things magicians do to entertain people yeah. is to chat to them and explain to them what they're doing. Yeah. That helps make it entertaining yeah. and more fun. What I learned from Stan is that you always explain your tricks when you do that, that makes it more exciting. I think he's doing wonderful magic for his age. They're very impressive tricks. He's doing them well. Technically, they're great. Um, he can only go forward from here. So one way one can do magic yeah. is by chatting to people. Yeah. But another way is doing magic to music. Yeah. Come with me. Let me show you some magic to music. Did you like that? Yeah, I like I'm going to give you the table while it's floating. So uh, come and stand over here, yeah. hold on to that end very gently, yeah. and that end. Yeah. Can you feel that? Yeah. That's energy. It'll come up by its side. Lift the tablecloth. Look underneath the tablecloth. Lift it up, the tablecloth, nothing there. And now, feel underneath the table with your hands. Make sure there are no strings or magnets. Have you got that? Yeah. Hold it very gently. I'm going to give you the table while it's floating. Yeah. Whatever you do, don't let go. Have you got that? Yeah. Try to keep it still. Good. And I'm taking it back now. The best trick that Stan did was when the table was rising. Do you like money, Daron? Yeah. I did too. Check this out. Yeah. Real money. Let's count it together. One, two, three, and four. This is so quick. If you blink, you'll miss the whole thing. Watch carefully. 100 rand notes. Now they're 200s. How about that? Let's count them together. One, two, three, and of course, they're just four. And now, Daron, I'm going to teach you how to do some magic. One of the tricks that every magician has to know how to do is ask someone to pick a card and then find it. He has an easy way to do it. Take a card, and what I do when you take the card is I look at the card above your card. Yeah. I'll do that again. Take a card. When you take the card, I cut the pack yeah. and I look at the card at the bottom of the top half of the pack, yeah. the three of clubs. Now, when you put your card back, yeah. the three of clubs goes right back on top of your card. Yeah. So when I look at the cards, all I have to do is find the three of clubs yeah. 
and I know the next card, in this case the Ten of Clubs, will be your card. Is that right? Yes. Can you do that for me? Okay. Great. When I saw Standard Years Tricks, um, I do know them, but yeah, I, I want to know them. <laughs> Cool. Now that you've learned your new trick, yeah. what do you say we try it on a real live audience member? Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Hi. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Stan. Thanks a lot for joining us today. Thank we you. We have something really amazing for you. Check this out. Thanks. Good. The gift card? Can I look at it? Yeah. Show the camera. Card, yeah. Remember your card. Okay? Huh? See your card first? Okay. Now I'm going to try to look for your card. Do you agree your card is lost somewhere in that pack, Tracy? Yes. Is there any way of knowing which your card was? No. Absolutely not. Would you be amazed if Duran finds it? I'll be very amazed. Let's see what happens. I bet you won't find it. I don't think so either. No. Next card, a touch is going to be your card. Really? Yeah. Is wow, that the that's the card. Here you go, folks. The exact card that Tracy chose. Are you amazed or what, Tracy? That's incredible, Duran. What makes Duran a work of art is his passion to perform in front of people. And he'll go far, he'll really go far, hopefully maybe one day to Hollywood, standing as a famous magician. Thanks so much for joining us. Duran? Yeah? I see you have a very interesting badge on your shirt. What does that say? I'm the famous magician you saw on TV. I'm the famous magician you saw on TV. <laughs> You'll definitely remember Duran after that. Duran, it was lovely meeting you. You too. I had a lot of fun with you this morning. You too. I think you're very talented, Thanks. and I think you're going to be a very famous magician one day, and I look forward to seeing you on TV. Thank you. Thanks so much for Bye -bye. coming in. It was really wonderful meeting Deron. I think he's very talented. I think he's got a great future, and I think he's going to be very successful as a magician. An art only survives because of new people coming into the art, standing on the shoulders of those who went before them and carrying the art forward. And I'm very confident that Deron is going to be one of those people that carry the art of magic into the future. I agree. Deron's talent will not end here. But unfortunately, that's the end of our episode. So see you again next time. You see? It's empty, the box, right? My name's Joel Ruby and I'm a work of art.